to you. I was trying to be super intentional about what I chose for you to do so that I could make it worth your while and also try to come up with some things that I don't think you're seeing in your rehab that will be good to accessorize what you are doing in rehab. Okay, I chose four exercises for you. There are more we can add to it, but all of these have a specific fo focus of getting strong in the position where your knee goes over your toe. In that position, you are in an athletic position where you need to gain strength. And you're telling me that you wish you were further along than you are. So I feel like this is the position where if I can help you gain strength there, you're gonna see some big improvements. Um, I only chose four because um, if I give you a little amount of things to do, you might actually do it. If I give you a ton and you've got a million other things that you're doing, you might not get to it. So try to do these at practice when you're not with the team um, or at least three to four times a week if you're having to do them on your own. Again, uh, we can add to this later. If any of this is not working for you, you're going to let me know. I'll check in with you at practice this week, but I hope I'm giving you... Clearly, you know how to walk or jog backwards, but I'm going to do it um, here so that you can watch, so that you can see what I'm talking about with this being ben beneficial to where you're at. So, walking backwards, you have to drive your knee over your toe to do so. Watch what happens. When I really take that big step, my front knee goes way over my toes to make that happen. So in the practice facility, walk backwards. If you can handle jogging backwards, jog backwards. This is the one of the most beneficial mobility things you can do for this part of your knee. We call these tibialis raises. Again, what we're trying to do is strengthen you right here where you're having your issues, okay? We're going to keep the bottom against the wall, lift your toes. You're gonna to feel all of this pulling up into the knee and just above the knee, and then drop your toes down. If this is too easy, the way you progress it is to move your feet out slightly. The butt stays on the wall, you're hinged here, your chest is lifted. One, do them with me. Two, three, four, both feet should touch at the same time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep pulling high. Sixteen. I'm getting fatigued. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Trying to pull the toes all the way to the shins. Twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25. And I want you to work up to where you can do 100 of those fairly easily. All right, this next exercise, again, is gonna focus on strengthening you in the knee over toe position, which again is affecting all of this above and below where your issue lies. Bring yourself up onto something. I'm about four inches high right here. I could go a little higher, but I've already tested it and found out that's too much for me. Find something that works for you. Obviously, make sure that it's stable so that doesn't happen. And then here we go. We're gonna do 10 of them. Knees straight over your toes, chest tall. Try not to let your knee drop to the inside or the outside. Right over your ankle, three, four, five. I could probably add some kettlebells, six, to load this a little bit more, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice that I said I could probably add some kettlebells. 
I would add weight before I would go up higher, and I'm gonna show you why. Here I am doubling the height or maybe uh, adding a couple of inches to the height. And then notice what happens here as I try to go down. Now my chest is having to go forward and I'm not in as good a position. I'm not strong enough to handle this in my ankle dorsiflexion yet. And so I like the fact that my knee is getting more of a load, but I don't like the way it's happening. So I would add load by adding the kettlebells to the lower height until then I could be strong coming up a little bit higher. So that's how you progress it, okay? Finally, and this is the most advanced, you may not be ready for this yet, we're gonna do knee over toe lunges. So we would step forward into a lunge, keep this whole front foot down on the ground, drive the knee forward over the toes, and you're trying to get in the straightest line possible and be able to go down deep enough that your knee would touch the ground behind. You obviously can see that I can't do that. I don't have enough flexion in my front ankle in order to handle that. And so I'm just working right here. I'm gonna lunge like this and keep this going. Focusing on keeping it slow and uh, driving my knee straight forward over my toes. So I would just step through to the other side. And then same thing, knee over toes. Coming as deep as I possibly can. You're gonna feel a lot of extension in this back leg. Keep driving your knee forward, your heel down. Lift up, pull through. 